This is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to read a peyote bead chart. Now, this is a pattern here that I have for our Christmas trees on green. This is one of our exclusive kits. And I have the full bracelet here just to show you how pretty it actually looks, because sometimes it doesn't look so good in the pattern, but it looks really great when you finally weave it together. But I just want to show you kind of how to read a pattern like this. Now, whether you've purchased a kit from us or if you find a pattern online or something that you want to recreate and it doesn't have these nice little handy arrows everywhere, I just want to show you sort of the logistics of what a pattern should look like and how to start it. So if you've ever done peyote bead weaving, and we do have a full video showing you actually how to do this weave, I just want to point out that what you'll have is you'll have an up bead and a down bead, and these are your first two rows here and you always have to start at that down bead. So this is actually the first bead that you'll pick up is you see that very first red one right there. Because when you pick up your first two rows, you're gonna pick up the down bead first. So you'll pick up the red, the red, the red, the red, the red, green, 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 and so forth. So you'll pick up the first two rows and then you'll end picking up this red bead on your last, as your last bead and you'll have your thread coming out here. So the first bead then you'll pick up is that bead that's right below it. And now you're gonna to start to skip every row, so or skip every column, because you're gonna put that down bead and you're gonna go through that top bead and then you're gonna add that one. So you sort of then start to skip and you'll see as you kind of weave your way down how that works. Now I will say this, um, and this might be only specific to our patterns here and the type of clasp that we tend to use, which is a nice uh, tube clasp. You'll see that the tube has to connect a certain way. So it goes in to each other, just like so. But that also means you'll need to end the pattern so you'll have that up bead. And then down here, this will have to be empty so that both sides actually mirror each other. So that's really important if you see so that you don't end on an upbeat and start on an upbeat so you have that longer side and a shorter side. You'll wanna make sure that they're mirror images of each other. So that's basically how to read a peyote pattern. Um, we have ours separated into A and B and that's just to give you a little bit of a larger scale so that you don't hurt your eyes while you're working on this because it is very tiny beads. But if you wanna create your own peyote pattern, I hope this gives you a little bit of an overview on how to do so. And if you'd like to use one of our patterns, we do sell all of these and you'll get this pattern when you purchase any of our Peyote exclusive kits. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can find more supplies at betahalik.com.